Good morning, I'm Nathalie Roy, M&A of Montarville, with my colleague uh, Lise Lavallée, M&A of Repentigny, and Mrs. Joseph, Denise Joseph, who is the president of the Union of the Nurses of the MUHC. And we already met in uh, June, last June, because we had to uh, talk about those big uh, budget cuts at the hospital, $120 million since 2012. So they are working with less money. It causes a big problem, and we said that Mr. Barrett should do something about it. But the truth is that he met with the union and the staff, and nothing has been done. We are now in October, so this morning we promised you and we promised the Montrealers that we would bring a petition, their petition. 14,000 names to the Minister of Health, 14,000 people who are requesting that there are no more uh, budget cut. So, Mrs. Uh, Joseph, please explain me that it's still going on. And Mr. Barrett said, oh, prove me that the problem you have are caused by the budget cut. So I think it's really insulting. And what are the problems that are still going on right now? Well, there's not enough budget to open all the beds. We have a brand new hospital with closed beds. We have brand new operating room that are still closed. We have patients on the waiting list for their surgery, but if we don't have the money to open these rooms, we cannot operate these rooms. We have now an overcapacity protocol, so when the emergency room gets over crowded, they call that protocol, and then we transfer patient in the hallway. That's not a long-term solution for these patients. They're at risk in the hallway. Uh, Dr. Barrett is saying that uh, we need to prove to him that we should have more money, but I think with the number of patients we treat, it, sh it should prove itself that we need that money to treat these patients. We have a major increase of personnel that are off sick because of burnout, because they're overwhelmed and they cannot take the pressure anymore. So, Mr. Barrett, please come and see the personnel, meet with the employees of the MUHC and listen to them. They're the one taking care of these patients every day. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Joseph. And yes, Mr. Barrett, by the way, just read that petition, 14 thousand people, Montrealers, staff, professionals, health professionals, doctors who signed it, read it. 